the Avalon VT737 SP has been a staple in the recording business for a minute. In this video, I'm gonna show you a quick walkthrough about how to use the VT737 and I'm gonna give you an audio example. So if this is something that you're interested in, hang out with us so you can take your mixing and your production to the next level. Let's break down this Avalon VT737. So first you have your preamp section over here. You have your preamp gain, which can go from minus 20 to plus nine. Then you have your input select, which is your line in or your mic in. I like when I put this on a track for vocals, I like to put it on the mic and that just boosts the vocal up. Then you have your high pass frequency and you engage your high pass filter frequency right here with this button in and out also you have minus 20 pad then you have your phase switch where you can reverse phase then you have your high gain off and on over here is your compression section you have your threshold then you have a adjustable amount of compression from one to one up to 20 to one also you have your attack and your release it's the fast you can put it on four times as fast some people say that the attack on this 737 is slow. It's not really that fast, but I find it works good enough for me. And sometimes I like to put it on the four times fast. So we'll try different A and Bs with that. Also, you have the ability to switch the EQ section to come before the compressor section with this button. Also, you have your meter button, which shows your output or your gain reduction. Also, you have your compressor in button and you have your side chain link. Right here in the middle, you have your meter. Also, you can use this button right here to turn the plug-in off and on, this red button. Also, you have your power button over here, which actually does the same thing. Then this section right here is your EQ section and you have your bass, your low mid, your high mid, and your treble with your output. Also, this is how you engage the EQ, which is this button right here, and adjust your side chain mids, which you can use that, for example, of kind of DS, or let's say. So you engage that right here with this button. Also, as you see on the frequencies, your EQs are sweepable, which are low is not sweepable, the bass end is not sweepable, it's just 15, 30, 60, and 150. But your low mids are sweepable from 35 to 450. Your high mids are sweepable from 220 to 2K. And then you have your treble end, which is 10K, up to that nice air band of 32K, which you really don't see on a lot of hardware. So I like to use that 32K just to give it that crispiness in the vocals. So basically that breaks down your interface. Um, how I have my interface black, I know you guys are used to seeing it silver, but if you touch on the logo, the Avalon logo, this is how you can switch it back to silver. I like it black because it's just easy on my eyes and I like the vibe. So let's get into it. I have a piece of audio and I'm gonna play the audio and I'm gonna play it without the plug-in on and then switch the plug-in on just so we can see if anything is happening without anything else engaged. So I'm gonna do an A, B, back and forth. So this is with the plug-in off first and then I'll switch to the plug-in on and I'll do an A, B back and forth just so we can hear if just turning the plug-in on adds anything to the vocal. Saw it with my own two eyes. I didn't hear it from another soul. Saw it with my own two eyes. I didn't hear it from another soul. Saw it with my own two eyes. I didn't hear it from another soul. So it with my own two eyes, I didn't hear it from another soul. My shorty's with another guy, I almost lost control. 
Saw it with my own two eyes. I didn't hear it from another soul. My shorty's with another guy. I almost lost control. Okay, so I really didn't hear any difference just by turning it off and on. To me, it sounded the same. So you guys can let me know in the comments if you heard any difference. Just the A and B without anything engaged. Because I really couldn't hear nothing. But this 737 is based upon uh, three tubes. This is an opto compressor and it's based upon three tubes. And that's what gives it the character. But I would expect it to hear a little slight difference just turning it off and on without the compressor or the preamp gain or anything but uh i didn't hear anything it pretty much sounds the same to me so next we're going to go over here to the preamp section and i'm just going to boost up a little volume i'm going to turn it on and i'm just going to boost up a little volume and i'm going to show you the difference between the line input and the mic input Saw it with my own two eyes. I didn't hear it from another soul. My shorty's with another guy. I almost lost control. So you see when I put it on the mic input, it really boosts it up a lot. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to just turn down my vocal just a little bit so it's not peaking. And I'm going to leave it on the mic input. So I have a... A lot of nice volume right there. So it with my own two eyes. I didn't hear it from another soul. My shorty's with another guy. I almost lost control. Okay, let's hear it without it. So it with my own two eyes. I didn't hear it from another soul. My shorty's with another guy. I almost lost control. And this is with it. So it with my own two eyes. I didn't hear it from another soul. My shorty's with another guy. I almost lost control. Oh, see, okay, so you see we got good volume out of there right now. Okay, so next what I want to do is I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to turn on my filter. And I'm going to uh, roll off probably about 120, 140. But I'll sweep through all the frequencies just so you can hear. So it with my own two eyes. I didn't hear it from another soul. My shorty's with another guy. I almost lost control. Okay, so I like how that is at 140. I recorded this um pretty good, so you don't have a lot of bottom end on there. But the the high pass filter really can uh get rid of some low end that you don't like in the vocal okay so next what i like to do is i just like to go in here and mess with the compressor and get a good compression sound on it so let's do that right now so it with my own two eyes i didn't hear it from another soul I'm going to turn the meter on so I can see how much gain reduction I'm you I'm doing. So it with my own two eyes. I didn't hear it from another soul. My shorty's with another guy. You got to remember to turn it on. So you hit the compressor in and that activates it. So it with my own two eyes. I didn't hear it from another soul. My shorty's with another guy. I almost lost control. I didn't even open my mouth. Cause my face just hit the floor. My heart starts beating. Cause it's never been broke like this before. She just don't know what I've been through. And what it took for me to trust in her. And now I'm feeling like a fool. Cause I saw it with my own two eyes. Okay, so as I as you see, I put the compression about three and a half to one. Got the threshold working. I'm getting so probably about my own two eyes. Between 
between 5 and 7, minus 5 and minus 7 dB. So it Worth of compression. I put a kind of slow, medium attack on it. And a slightly faster release. So it with my own two eyes. I'm going to dial this in. So it with my own two eyes. I didn't hear it from another soul. My shorty's with another guy. So it with my own two eyes. I didn't hear it from another soul. My shorty's with another guy. I almost lost control. Okay, put the attack a little bit faster. Just controlling peaks. So it with my own two eyes. I didn't hear it from another soul. My shorty's with another guy. I almost lost control. I didn't even open my mouth. Cause my face just hit the floor. My heart starts beating. Cause it's never been broke like this before. She just don't know what I've been through. And what it took for me to trust in her. And now I'm feeling like a fool Cause I saw it with my own two eyes I didn't hear it from another soul My shorty's with another guy Okay, so let's hear it without the compressor Saw it with my own two eyes I didn't hear it from another soul My shorty's with another guy I almost lost control Okay, let's hear it with the compressor so it with my own two eyes i didn't hear it from another soul my shorty's with another guy i almost lost control okay so you see how it gives it that certain sound which i really like and it's controlling the vocal at the same time it's not too much so what i like to do is I know I'm going to go EQ some frequencies back in there. So that's why you're kind of hearing the compression. You think it's like a little too much. But what I like to do is now I'm going to go EQ some of this back in. So we roll over to the EQ section. We engage the EQ. Remember, you got to turn it on and off. And I'm just going to EQ this vocal to my liking. So it with my own two eyes, I didn't hear it from another soul. My shorty's with another guy, I almost lost control. I didn't even open my mouth, cause my face just hit the floor. My heart starts beating, cause it's never been broke like this before. She just don't know what I've been through And what it took for me to trust in her And now I'm feeling like a fool Cause I saw it with my own two eyes I didn't hear it from another soul My shorty's with another guy I almost lost control I didn't even open my mouth Cause my face just hit the floor Okay, so you see I, I deleted I took out some of that low mid About 200 Also, I put the times 10 on Boosted it The high mid Now all I'm gonna do Is just go Bring in some bottom end And then sweeten up the top end And then I got a lead vocal That's ready for further processing but it sounds nice and clean real simple so it with my own two eyes i didn't hear it from another soul my shorty's with another guy i almost lost control i didn't even open my mouth because my face just hit the floor my heart starts beating because it's never been broke Okay, now I'm going to put the high band on there. I'm going to sweep this really hard so you can just hear what this 32K does to the vocal. So it with my own two eyes. I didn't hear it from another soul. My shorty's with another guy. I almost lost control. You hear that? 
So that's a nice air band. So I like to boost that top end on there. Saw it with my own two eyes. I didn't hear it from another soul. My shorty's with another guy. I almost lost control. I didn't even open my mouth. And I'm going to put the gain down just a little bit. Keep it from peaking. Saw it with my own two eyes. I didn't hear it from another soul. And now I'm going to just put the attack just a little bit faster. Saw it with my own two eyes. I didn't hear it from another soul. My shorty's with another guy. I almost lost control. I didn't even open my mouth Cause my face just hit the floor Okay, let's hear it without the EQ Saw it with my own two eyes I didn't hear it from another soul This is with the EQ Saw it with my own two eyes I didn't hear it from another soul So as you see, it definitely gives it some nice character has a dope sound to it, a real pop sound, a sound like it's ready for the radio. And this is why I like the Avalon VT737. As far as the comparison to the plug-in through the hardware, I personally don't own the uh, hardware piece, but I have used it plenty of times in studios. And f as far as my memory, it does give it the same type of vibe now whether it it's exact replication i really can't call it but i really like this and i suggest you guys try this avalon vt 737 out it's made by uad i'll put the link in the description also let me know in the comments if you like this plugin if you guys are using this plugin because I think this is actually one of the best plugins that UAD make along with the Manly Vox Box, which I'll be doing a video on that soon. So I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. This is EK for Dead End Studios. Peace. Saw it with my own two eyes. I didn't hear it from another soul. My shorty's with another guy. I almost lost control I didn't even open my mouth Cause my face just hit the floor My heart starts beating Cause it's never been broke like this before